George, uh, do, do you expect it to win a semifinal by nine goals? Uh, no, I was very concerned about Orchard Hill after they played uh, uh, San Saba the other day. There was no way. If you had told me uh, that would be the score, I would have said there's no way. I, one goal would have been great. This was an interesting game because Steve A. Nandel is one of my best friends on Orchard Hill, so that made it a lot of fun. We haven't played against each other in a long time. But was a, the best uh, friend. Yeah, was. A, no, no, no. He's, he, he'll still be there. But that, no, it was amazing. But Adolfo uh, is just uh, incredible. And the guys, we play together so well as a team with Matias and Pilon. Uh, so it's really a joy to be with those guys. It's great fun. And I'm kind of turning Argentine. Yeah, my my hair is getting. I hadn't cut my hair during the tournament, drinking mate all the time. <laughs> uh, what was the key of the game? The key of the game was, you know, they, that's a very well-mounted team, but we have very, we're very well-mounted too. We have very good horses, but you know, the way Adolfo runs his system with uh, with the players, uh, you've got you, you've got to put it all on Adolfo. I mean, he's the key of the game. When when you have somebody that. Uh, plays like that. He's a once-in-a-lifetime talent. I don't think we'll ever see anybody like him again. But, but uh, you know, we keep the ball ball control. You know, that that other team is more of a hit-and-run team. So with us controlling the ball, it, it's very difficult for them to deal with our game. I think that was it. And, and our guys control the ball so well. What can, can you tell us about uh, Jedi, the rival in the final? Jedi is, uh, Jedi is a very, very tough team. They beat us the first game in the, uh, that we played. We played them one time this year, and they beat us by two goals. And uh, Pablo McDonald and uh, Juan Martin Nero and, and, uh, and the other two guys, uh, yeah, Magoo and, and uh, Fred, are, are very good players. Um, I expect a very tough game. And, you know, I think... The, the tournament boiled down to the two best teams are in the final. I mean, there was I, I haven't seen this many good teams. I've been watching the Open for a long time, and this this year we had more good teams than I've ever seen. But Jedi Jedi is um, a very formidable opponent. It's going to be a very good game to watch. What does to reach the final of the U.S. Open mean for you? Well, it's something. You know, we won the Gold Cup about uh, four weeks ago, and that. That was probably the highlight of my polo career, and to be in the open uh, uh, just makes it extra special. I don't want to be greedy, but it would be really nice to to win the U.S. Open. And I think I think if you win the national championship, uh, you've been to the top of your sport. And whenever you go to the top of your sport, that's a very, very meaningful thing. And, uh, you know, we've had a lot of challenges. Uh, Adolfo's father-in-law, Maria's father, died during uh, the tournament. My mother died just before the tournament began, so uh, we've kind of dedicated uh, the season to my mother and Maria's father, so that makes it extra special, too. Why Orchard Hill played very well the first two tackers yeah. and then was uh, dominated by Crab Orton? Yeah, you know, I think I think some of it is you if if you saw kind of what happened just before the half, we had a, a foul goal against us. We went down a few goals, and I think you know you, you lose a little. I I think of it as losing a little steam. We lost a little bit of our our motivation, and so you go into the the second half down just a little bit, and you can't do that with the team that we played against. You have to be up. All six checkers the whole time, concentrated, and uh, absolutely. absolutely. So we backed off a little bit, and then we came. I think we started coming back again, but it was too late. By the time you get to the six checker and you're down six goals, you know it's just not going to work. And so, how hard is to play against Cambiaso? Wow, well, <laughs> I mean, what a question, you know. <laughs> it's it's always going to be difficult playing against Cambiaso. But I still think, you know, if you look at the first couple checkers and the way we kind of set the team up, I, I think we did did well. And it, even though you have one great player like that, it still is a team sport. You still have four people on a team. And if you can utilize the team well enough, I think you can still win against a, a single great great player. But they have a, a great team, too. So it's more than just Cambiaso. It's tough. It's tough. What's your balance of the season? 
I think any time you make it to the semifinals, how can you complain? I mean, there's only four teams that make it that far, and so for us, it's been a, a great season. It's the first season that we're all together. I mean, Hector and Jeff have been together now with me for a couple of years, but this is the first time, you know, Lucas has been on the team, and he's fit in very, very well. So it took us a little bit of time to, to kind of, figure things out and as we got towards the open I think we are doing real well but now next year when we come back in you know we start from a different level and I think we can even improve from where we are so what's the objective or the goal for the next year well of course to win the open I mean that's that's what the goal always is so I think we'll I think we'll have a good shot next year as well so what do you think about the final of, of next Sunday what team is the favorite you know it's really tough because Jedi's already You know, already beat the the crab orchard once somewhere, somewhere in the in the in plane. So I think it's anybody's anybody's game. I think it all depends on who comes to the field and playing well, and we'll see what happens. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you.